Danny, this is Torin, and we're turning this lifeboat into a liveaboard. Welcome to today's episode. As you can probably see, it's a little bit different than normal, but we were lucky enough to be contacted by Blue Eddy, who were curious if we wanted to test out their portable power station, and we were happy to do so, but we were not paid, we weren't asked to say anything specific, so everything in this video is our own opinion after the last several months of testing it out, and we will chat about the product and how we used it over the next few minutes. All right, what do we have here? Nice packaging. While well, Blue Eddy products come in a variety of different capacity sizes, the one that they sent us is 285 watt hours and up to 600 watts in the inverter. So while Torin's unboxing, I'll just explain that in this video we're going to test it in three different ways to eat, to play, and to work. And if you watch all the way to the end to the work section, you'll see what Luya looks like today. So a little fast forward for viewers who have been patiently waiting for us to build. Um, overall, I think we really like this product. It won't replace the power that we have on Luya. We have so many batteries on her, but on our old day sailor, our Ranger 29, this would have been unbelievable, completely life-changing. We didn't have shore power. We didn't have any outlets on that boat, very little battery. So something like this, if you've got an older boat, if you car camp, if you're going to a horse show and you're in a horse trailer, anything like that, um, even in a power outage, so nice to have all the different power outlets and we found it to be legitimately useful. All right. This is cute. Mm -hmm. I was worried that it was going to be huge. But this is no, it's awesome. a nice size. Easy to fit inside things. Let's see if it's got some power. Oh, there we go. It's got power. So it seems to have a USB C at 100 watts, so that's nice. It'll charge. Uh, any of our laptops, a uh, couple of USB A's. Is that a light? Looks like it. A light? Oh, yeah. I guess a light for if you're. It's handy. Need a light. Couple power. Oh, there's for putting the Good. input. Uh, fuse. Oh, you can uh, plug in for if you've got a solar. 12 volt cigarette lighter point and it'll do 600 watts of output for the inverter on it which will power will definitely power our torpedo uh, battery charger which could be handy if we brought this with us we could get an extra charge out of the uh, electric motor plus quite a few of our smaller appliances would work on that got the cool wireless charging Let's see our cute doggo and connect it's a fun feature what's that so it comes with a uh, the solar wiring to attach any solar panel. And then obviously the uh, regular power cord to plug it in. So according to their website, there are six different ways to charge this, including with a generator or a cigarette lighter in your car a wall, solar, etc. Uh, one thing I will say, we really noticed when we were charging this off the wall that it does make some kind of crazy noises. So I think it's just the fan cycling. Sort of sounds like it's taking off. Um, we did reach out to the manufacturer. They assured us that everything's totally safe and they are working on a firmware update to fix that problem. So if any of you end up purchasing one and there'll be a link in the description, it's entirely possible that that won't even be an issue at that point. But um, just know it was safe. That was our only complaint really about this product was that it was quite loud when it charged, but we ended up just sort of putting it in the laundry room overnight. And then by the next morning we were ready to go. So it wasn't really a problem, but something to note for sure.
It is what might charitably be described as absolutely freezing outside, but we really want to take our new Blue Eddy battery bank out for a test, and today we are putting it through its paces with a barbecue, so we'll show you how that all works in a minute because I'm sure that doesn't make too much sense just yet, but I am just chopping up a lightly dressed um, cucumber and pepper salad, kind of a Greek salad except neither of us like uh, olives and torn doesn't do tomatoes. So just a little salad. We've got some souvlaki skewers to come and a few other things. So show you guys that in a minute, but we're off for a winter picnic. So it's a beautiful winter day, it's sort of hovering around freezing, but it's sunny, which pretty rare here. So we've come to the lake to have a picnic and we are always ridiculous and are quite extra with our picnics, which everybody will tell you. So we have brought the big green egg, which is gonna go onto Luya, but before it's attached there, we've been taking on a couple of sort of distance expeditions like this. And then to power some aspects of it, we've brought the Blue Weddy charger. So we've been talking about that in this episode. And today we are going to use it first to use our electric starter thing here yep. and then to power the big green eggs fan which is Torrin's pride and joy and he can explain that <laughs> to you once we are going but first of all we're going to power this thing up the heater is 525 watts and it this is. is for 600 watts for 600 so. watts so let's try it it should be good i'll we'll turn that on and and we just fully charge this using a quick charge which we didn't actually know was an option, but it did in fact charge pretty quick. Pretty like quickly. In a, an hour we got like 50%, 50% yeah. of the power. So with that, you do get a bit of fan noise, but worth it for the quick charge. If you, um, I think it has a slow mode and then the fans won't come on, but of course that's more of like an overnight charge. All right, so how do so we... we... Just like press this, right? Yeah, maybe. Ah, there we go. So press into brief hold. Oh. Press into brief hold. So we can see that it's putting out 538 watts. And this thing will start to heat up. And so it's like a glow start for the charcoal. Um, and yeah, you use this instead of a long later and fire starter, right? Yeah. So we usually have this at home, but... Uh, when we do take this to places, I don't actually have any of the fire starter because <laughs> I always use the electric. So we thought, why not? Let's try this, see if it works. Yeah, next we'll use this. So we will heat this up, it takes a little bit, and then we'll check back in and like tell it until it's split. I mean, five or 10 minutes. We'll see how the battery holds for that. Yeah. So. <laughs> It is drinking the power, so we'll see how this goes. Oh, yeah. You actually, why don't you quickly give us 30 seconds about a big green egg? Because it's a bit of a weird barbecue. Uh, so big green egg is a charcoal barbecue um, that has a ceramic uh, egg around the shape and the shape uh, works very well for cooking and holding heat very evenly and usually you would just adjust some um, some vents and uh, yeah it's got a little a little vent down there and then you can also turn the top and adjust how far open. They make these, this is the mini, mini, max. mini max. So there's like a mini, this one, and then small, medium, large, and then it goes up to like extra, extra large, which is big enough for like at least a whole hog, right? Huge. Quite literally, they're yeah. That big around. Yeah, Crazy. and there, there's restaurants that use them exclusively for cooking, like some cool barbecue places, so. Anyway, Torin is still untangling, but 
<laughs> this is um, for very precision temperature control. So instead of nudging the little vents around, you attach that and it's like a fan, right? It is a fan. Now, I would normally only ever use this for doing long, slow cooks. And today we're just doing kebabs, but I figured why not? In for a penny, right? And also testing this thing out because one thing we are going to want to do on the boat is um, some smoking off the back. And so this will be, we won't have power plumbed into our, like there won't be an outlet outside on the back deck. And so being able to use this means that we can do like an 18 hour brisket and things like that, which delicious. Yes. So this has like a few temperature probes and then goes off the temperature of the egg to an app and cycles the fan on and off to help. And you can actually hear it just cycled and you can see the increase in flame there. Ooh. Putting that carefully down there. Somebody else before us had a. Uh, yeah, we might be. There. Oh yeah, you can kind of see they clearly had some excitement with <laughs> their picnic. So hopefully, we're not going to do that. Moment of chicken truth. Shall we put them on the sides? Sure. Let's put our bread in the middle. Yeah. Okay. We've got our. <laughs> table's set. This table's really dirty, so unfortunately we're using some paper towel. Gotta up the cute game for our picnic supplies, but we have the delicious thing on. Point. Garlic naan spread out. Yeah, blue Greek salad, some tzatziki, and then for dessert we have some creme brulee. Because <laughs> why not, really? All right, definitely ready. <laughs> it's like proper oven grilled bread this way. The thing with the egg is because it um, smokes, you tend to get a little bit of a pink blush through your meat, but it's not from being raw, it's from the smoking, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it throws you off a bit, but that's okay. And then to cool everything down, you just close the access oh, to sorry. oxygen, right? Yeah. Yes, it close it. these. And that'll close, and then it'll put itself out. And obviously we'll be hanging out here for a little bit before we leave, so. Should be all done before we go home. And finished product for lunch. How's it tasting so far? Excellent. Good. All right, so successful use of our Blue Eddy for powering the big green egg and elevating our picnic game, but not our picnic plate game that coming next. <laughs> so a successful first test. The power station definitely helped expedite and elevate our barbecue experience. And that part of it all went a lot better than dessert, which as you can see was not overly successful. As it turns out, butane torches don't work when it's cold and we had no idea. So we actually ended up taking our creme brulee home to uh, try and finish <laughs> cooking it properly there. But the power station worked well and our next test was taking it out on the dinghy. Next up was the dinghy trip on a slightly subpar weather day to do our version of a little mini winter picnic. On the way there, we were able to use our battery and we topped it up before we headed home. So we're obviously sitting here on this beach in the cold. We had blankets with us and you can see the battery there for the dinghy. We've got the Torquedo 1103C um, model which has a 915 watt hour battery so of course with the 285 watt hour capacity from the power station we're not going to fill it completely but the thing with an electric motor is if you go slowly you can go a long way on not that much power so this quarter to one third charge that we could reasonably speaking 
plan to get off the power station would get us a couple of hours if we're only going at a few knots. So that's the thing with this. If you're cruising around locally, you can go for so, so, so long. If you go solely, that's the same with Luya, and we'll talk a lot more about that in a future video. But with this power station and the battery, like you can see Torin plugging it in there, you imagine you sit and have a nice lunch, you've topped up, and you can head back to the boat. So that would be really great if you don't want to go and invest in the solar systems for the Torquedo. They're really expensive. They're like a thousand dollar solar panel that they sell for their and batteries, and we haven't gone down that road. But this seems like a good a good option. You can see here I'm showing off our Abigo. It's a big candle. We weren't going to have a picnic so we sort of had a winter dessert and I will let myself explain that in the rest of the video. Got that and some marshmallows and we're going to make some s'mores. Bit of a tale of two marshmallows at this stage. With the weather deteriorating, we called it a day on our snack, unplugged the motor, now with more power, and headed back to the marina. Another successful test for our Bluetti power station. So today we are on our inaugural sort of real voyage. We've got about 10 days on the boat. First trip out, we're going full in. Um, but that long means I need to work and we have not really a problem with the power but we basically have two big banks for our power so down here you can't see them but there's 12 batteries that are tied to four solar panels and those are creating our 48 volt battery bank for the motor and that is 100% charged and so those solar panels aren't doing anything. In the meantime, we've got another four batteries behind our crockery under the stove, and those are doing the 12 volt house bank, and there's two solar panels that are feeding that right now, so we're getting about six amps in, but we are only at 78% because I love to cook and I made French toast for brunch, and we had gnocchi last night and using lots of power. So to conserve the batteries that I have available, I am using the Bluetti to charge my computer because it's an easy thing. I can plug it in and know that it'll charge that really well. So I just plugged it in, I'm in 99%. It's putting out 45 watts to the computer, which is charging up so that I can get some work done with these flowers from the garden. Beautiful view, we're at Sydney Spit in the Gulf Islands National Marine Park just before the main long weekend. So early season and really great spot to be working, nice office. So yeah, it's a good use for the Bluetti to help us out while we before we get the uh, transfer thing that will allow us to combine, kind of combine everything together. I'm sure Torin, who is currently napping, will explain all of that more in depth in a future video, which actually talks about the system. But for now, Bluetti coming in, helping us out, even though I do have quite a lot of power in theory, but this little, this little guy is a good addition to the boat. And that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Thanks to Bluetti for sending us one of these to try. Depending on your needs, I would totally recommend this for certain situations. Head to their website. There's a link in the, the description. You can see all the different models that they offer. Our next episode will be back with a lot of information about our solar system and then it's full steam ahead on the build and we're casting off to go explore.